Welcome to River City Live. Happy Monday. I'm excited to be here because I had, I guess you could say, a productive weekend where I was just doing a lot of like cleaning, grocery shopping, stuff like that. So it's kind of nice to start out like a regular work week and just kind of get a break from the family a little bit. Yeah, you know, little I, I, I hate to say it, it, but yeah, yeah. But that, that's kind of where I am on this Monday. So I'm feeling all right. How about you, Rance? I did absolutely nothing. <laughs> I admit it. It was just I was feeling a little run down last week, and we had worked the weekend before. Yeah, the entire weekend. So I put in about 14 straight days, and so finally I'm like, I got home Friday, did some quick chores, and Saturday, Sunday, I, movies, movies. But I feel so much better today, well, and I'm happy to see you guys. We missed Eden. Yeah. Thank you for missing me. Yes. I'm glad you noticed I yeah. wasn't here. <laughs> I was down in South Florida, so this is a, an interesting thing. It wasn't intended to be a high school reunion, but we came to realize on Facebook, a bunch of friends and I, that we were all turning 50. It wasn't just a few of us. So we started this whole idea of getting everybody together uh, that we were still in touch with that was turning 50 from our high school. So you're looking at a bunch of friends. And boy, when I tell you people have gone in all different directions, I mean, we have the one guy who owns a CrossFit and he's, you know, got the big bushy beard and covered in ink. The other one, just one friend is a hairstylist and these three ladies, uh, are good friends of mine that I had not seen in many, many years. It was just a lot of fun. What are y'all sipping on? Because nobody <laughs> so, looks 50 there. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you very I'm just much. saying, what do you got? I need to get some of that. What? <laughs> so, yeah, that was, it was a good time. But my favorite part of the entire, uh, the entire adventure was my friend Jeff, who you saw there, he has a bald head and a beard down to here, and he's beard. covered in tattoos. So he's at the, at the uh, bar, and he ordered a daiquiri. And everyone looked at him <laughs> funny, and he said, what? It's delicious. <laughs> and just ever since then, the rest of the night, we were like, oh, now, it's was delicious. Was Jeff one of those guys, like in high school, he couldn't grow a beard, and now that he can, it's like uh, all coming out? I know. He certainly didn't have one. Actually, he said it's effing delicious. <laughs> I didn't feel like that was, you know. But anyway, so yeah, it was a really fun time. It was really fun. And we beat the weather, which was, which was great, because I was keeping an eye on the weather for this trip down south. Yeah. And it, it really did pour at one point down in South Florida, but it wasn't like what we thought it was going to be. So right. speaking of raining, uh, we want to make sure that with the latest in tropical depressions being watched right now, we've got you covered. Go ahead, Abby. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> Give it. Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, right. We have umbrellas. These are River City Live umbrellas. We all caught it, so I'm pretty happy about that. Because yeah. during rehearsal, it looked like this. <laughs> so, River City Live umbrellas for you to win. We're giving away these if you would like them. Be the first three people to email. I want that umbrella. Ella. 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 A, 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 a. Yeah, we went there. A. So, yeah, we would love you to have these. Um, I mean, they're little umbrellas. If this tropical depression turns into a lot more, maybe just stay inside. But, you know, for the initial rain, you could uh, you could certainly turn to that umbrella. Yeah. A, 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 A. <laughs> All right, so it was a win, but even our quarterback, Blake Bortles, doesn't feel good about it. The Jaguars preseason game last night, did you see it? I watched part of it, sprinkled in with some DMAs, but people were really nervous because they played pretty bad last night. Yeah. They did. You know, it's preseason. It um, pre Cincinnati's a great team, so, you know, it's always good when you're playing good competition. But here's the takeaway. No one got hurt. They Bingo. You know, after your team, the Cowboys, Romo's out Ouch. for 12 weeks. That's all you really care about. There wasn't any, like, blow-ups, you could say, plays-wise. You know, a little sloppy, but right. it's preseason, so I'm not worried about it. The first two preseason games, they look pretty sharp, you know, so. Well, look at this right here. That's A.J. Green. That's the Cincinnati stud wide receiver. He's nicked up already, so as long as the Jags, they come out. No injuries like that. They make it into the season. That's all I can Everybody ask. starts off zero and zero. Right. So whatever, mm. preseason, who cares? Yep. That's right. Yep. Figure out what the problems are, fix them, move on. Yes. And so we were just talking about how all oh, your group looks so young and healthy. Thank well, you. there's actually a study out that says being closer to your family members makes you live longer. Really? Ah. Who knew, right? <laughs> so uh, uh, researchers with the National Social Life Health and Aging Project surveyed about 3,000 people uh, born between 1920 and 74 and asked participants who were between 57 and 85 mm -hmm. to list up to five people they're close to five years later. When the researchers found, followed up, they found that the people who had family members were living
living longer, so. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. You know, you have that support of your family and, you know, your peers. Uh, maybe reduce some stress and promote healthy living. I get that. So yeah, yeah, don't you kind of see that? Like, I mean, if you're like a hermit and you have nobody, <laughs> you know, usually uh, you're not living that healthy of a Although, lifestyle. in this day and age, people live longer and they're more spread out from their family. Yeah. But we don't have things like grizzly bears hiding in the, you know. Yeah, it's true. Okay? But I was just thinking, Those like, back bears. in the day when everybody would pile and all live in one house, you know, yeah, I mean, nobody yeah. moved away from their families, but the life spans were short. See, I haven't seen my folks literally in almost uh, 20 months. What? So Good I, see you, Mama. I know I'm going What's to see them next you? month. Is I mean, just for my own personal, I just feel like I need to connect. So hopefully, this will help with my health. But how how uh, often do you talk with them, like on the phone and stuff? We have the standard college rule once a week. Uh -huh. <laughs> Not bad though. No. So you're still, mm -hmm. you know, you're still in contact yeah, with them. Yeah. I think that's what counts. Oh, and it's that's... only once a week. Well, we should be more, but I'm slack. I I'm, every... slack. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get the everyday thing going with the college boy, but it's not happening. You know, once every other day, I think is is good. That it's par for the course. Now, I don't know if you guys have been keeping track of this, but it's all about the EpiPen, and it's from the pharmaceutical company Mylan. And basically, the price of this pen was ninety dollars ten years ago, and now it's up to six hundred dollars. So as soon as this came out, everybody there's a, just a huge public outcry on how could this possibly be this type of price increase because people need this if you have a severe allergic reaction you need this obviously to reverse it uh, and it saves lives and the CEO she actually makes 18 million dollars a year and people were bringing this into it and asking why is this why is this drug so expensive and they're trying to do things like damage control now last week they came out with these coupons that helped to reduce the price and then today they said we're gonna come out with a generic form of the drug which will knock it in half so about three hundred dollars now the pharmaceutical company they're blaming insurance they're saying this is just the times that we live in and we have to have that kind of price in order to get reimbursed so it's kind of like the never-ending circle because uh, insurance okay. companies are like no 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 it's you you're making the price so high which affects us so meanwhile somebody who's allergic to bee stings is saying whatever you guys figure it out because just give that's this, really yeah. expensive mm -hmm. for something i need to keep my child oh, yeah. alive in a pinch oh yeah i mean is it you use it for bee stings even peanut and stuff exactly allergies yeah, that's as well one, yeah. so yeah and yeah. you know right now it's so prevalent because right before everybody goes to school if you have that type of you know allergic reaction to anything you got to buy it and have one at the school so now all the families are hit by this increased cost so it's resolved though or it is, is yeah as of resolved? today they're coming out with a generic okay. form of it which brings the price point down to half so about three hundred dollars so it's better than the six hundred dollars mm -hmm. yeah Okay. Well, I was road tripping this week, and I thought, gosh, there have to be two kinds of people in this world. The ones who drive in the left lane and the ones who drive very slowly <laughs> in the left lane and make some of us crazy. But did you know that not only is driving slowly in the left lane against the law in some states and including in Florida, but it can be more dangerous. You can cause more of a problem if you're driving slowly in the left lane than if you're driving a little bit faster than the speed limit. Now that guy's not in the lane at all. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, that is. Yeah. And they say part of the issue is because people are trying to weave in and out, yeah. and so the slow down, pick up, slow down, pick up. Yeah. I mean, I've been, I haven't had one, but I've been guilty of that. You whip into a lane, you gun it, and next thing you know, you're like, oh, I'm already on somebody's tail. Yeah, when I'm in the left lane and I see those headlights coming up on me, I think, okay, that person is calling me every name in the book. I'm just gonna go ahead and let them go by me. I'm not gonna make them do that little thing. Okay, now it's time to play a guessing game. So, gentlemen, I've got this little device right here, and I want you to look it over and tell me what you think that beauty device does. It is a Japanese shot glass. Ooh! Man, that is nice. incorrect. That is incorrect. Uh, play molds? Uh, it's got like a little you design. What, I, you can make okay. some. Let me hold it up so everybody else can guess. I I'm don't gonna know. It. I'm going to give it a little flip -a Oh. Yeah, what do you think it does? Right, how I'm about still, this? I'm still with the shot How glass. about this? I will show you <laughs> right now. Let's see. Crow's feet, sagging jawline, marionette lines. All right, so these are all recognizable signs of aging. But here's one they don't really warn you about. Thinning lips. It has to do with collagen and how we have less as we age. And look at this chart. It says here our lips peaked in our teens. So short of risking some dicey fixes, what's a girl to do? Well, over the years, I've tested various lip plumpers in a tube. I'll give you my one word review here. Meh. 
However, in my internet travels, I did come across this little number. It's called the Liptiful. It's a ceramic handmade device, runs about 35 bucks, and it operates under the same premise of that horrible shot glass challenge that was floating around for a while on the internet. Still, this is a bona fide product, and I've seen some pretty noted beauty bloggers raving about it. So, well, you know me by now. I went to work. Day one. The instructions say start slowly, suctioning for short periods of time. Evidently, it should take two full weeks before the process starts to really show a difference. Also, it's kind of trial and error. Oh wait, one side, is one side bigger than the other now? No, it's like not. Wait, hold on, hold on, like, don't smile, don't smile. Uh, your left. This, this side's big. This side, look, this side looks higher. Yeah. I'm gonna keep it's going. So I kind of see a difference. But I kind of also have to really look. I get it. But I just don't see me doing this every day. What do you think? <laughs> so it worked. I mean, it definitely worked. You yeah. saw it. You yeah. saw it, right? Yeah. But yeah. Here's, the, here's the problem. So I, I thought, okay, well, it worked in, in practice, so why don't I try it before I come on the TV show? So I will go do my makeup, and then I come out, and there's this ring. <laughs> So I guess if you have the time and the concealer to do it on a regular basis, it definitely works. Do you want to give it a shot? Um, you know what? I think me and Jimmy Walker are already well taken care of. But you know, Mark. I'm good. I'm, I'm going to pass. He's good. So yeah. Anyway, that's a uh, that's all. So we already have winners for our umbrella giveaway. Let's let's look at those names. Oh. Elaine Vasquez and Amy Bollock. And Terry Lockwood. So congratulations. Oh, you guys are now prepared for Thursday when the storm comes. Do you guys want to end with a little uh, rendition of Rihanna again and the umbrella? Very little. About us. <laughs> hey, hey. We could even dance to it, no? All right. We could. Or I, th I think we legal could, won't allow that. We could tell you to stick around because more to come on River City Live.